Ohio Gozaimas. Today we're going to take a look at Renshu and how you can use this one practice piece to create variety every day in your daily practice. You've all learned Renshu. It's one of the first things that we teach you and you know that Renshu is simply the Japanese word for practice. It consists of a series of five patterns that we've played in class many, many times. So I wanna show you today how you can think about that practice once you've learned those five patterns and use it to practice every different skill that you want to in your taiko drumming. Let's start off just by reviewing the piece as we normally play it, simply playing it straight. I'm not going to sing it first, I'm just gonna play it for you each knee, so re, that you might want to try to make it a little different for you and to practice certain skills. One thing we've done in class is to try out different feelings to go with the way we play the song, to practice what it's like when you truly play with spirit. And so you might stop for a moment and think about something that puts you in a particular mood and then play it, change that mood, play it again and compare the two and see how it sounds different or how it feels different to you. Also, this is an excellent piece for practicing form. If you practice in front of a mirror, you can see, are you getting your arms all the way up when you're um, high up in the air? When you play your doro sukus, is there a lot of difference between the big hits and the little hits? When you're playing the katas, do you just rotate your wrists out this way to play or are you playing with penguin arms? Watch yourself in the mirror and check out your form. You can certainly work on timing. If you uh, use a metronome with this piece, that's an excellent way to work on your timing, to stay with the backbeat. You can also record a backbeat of your own and play that in the background while you play it. Another thing we like to do with this piece is to practice dynamics. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how you can play the patterns alternating loud and soft. So I'm gonna play the first pattern loud, second pattern softly, third pattern loud, fourth pattern softly, last pattern loud. Each knee, so ready. Practice for me, I seem to have trouble playing very soft Doro Sukus. 
Another variation you can do on that is to go ahead and play it a second time, continuing to alternate because there are an odd number of patterns. That means the second time you will be playing softly all the patterns that were loud the first time and vice versa. So that's another really excellent exercise for controlling dynamics. Another thing you could do is to monkey around a little bit with the backbeat. You can record backbeats to play behind you um, if you want to, or try, like I'm going to do, singing it in your head. So one thing that we've done that's kind of uh, different is to play this with a swing backbeat. And I'm going to try to do that for you right now as an example. So let me start myself off with a swing backbeat. that we've done with Renshu is to play it in a round. And you could make a recording of yourself playing it two or three times, or start off just using a recording of me playing it from this lesson once, and then play against it. When you play it in as a round, you come in at the end of the first time the first phrase is played. And what that means is that you end up playing that first line together once before the recording will move on and then you will repeat it and you'll be one step behind the whole way playing it in a round. So that's another fun thing to do. You can certainly try playing it at different tempos, but I would urge you to just use your imagination and try playing Renshu in a wide variety of ways to practice whatever skill you need to work on. Maybe you need to work on memorizing. It's a good practice for that, or looking at the transitions between patterns to just zero in on maybe you've learned one pattern, and then you learn the next one, but what happens in between them? How do you get from one to the next? There are quite a few different ways to look at Renshu and to use it in your daily practice. Have fun!